For more on COVID-19 at the start of this week in Israel, we now turn to our correspondent Eli Hochenberg. Eli, what's the latest? Is Israel heading towards another lockdown? Well, Ariel, the answer is that we simply do not uh, know. Uh, there's obviously a sense of emergency now, as officials are dubbing it uh, very clearly, a fifth uh, wave that is sweeping uh, throughout the country. But we don't know yet whether the uh, drastic measures that are already being uh, being imposed uh, will go as far as another nationwide uh, lockdown. It was avoided in the previous, the fourth uh, wave. Uh, but uh, obviously, the uh, uptick in infection uh, rate uh, now is more alarming than what uh, we've seen previously due to the uh, uh, Omicron uh, variant that is very much uh, present here throughout uh, the country. What I can tell you is that we're seeing more and more regulations or restrictions rather on uh, public gathering, most notably when we're talking about shopping malls and other um, public uh, spheres. So regulations in this respect are uh, already boosted and are, are expected uh, to increase. All, of course, in a bid to avoid another nationwide uh, lockdown, as there's uh, also a very heated debate on the uh, efficiency of such a measure. So it is uh, obviously still an option that is on the table, but we're not heading there um, in, in the immediate uh, future, meaning in the next few days. This is the uh, timetable or the um, time notion rather during uh, the COVID pandemic. And Prime Minister Bennett's daughters uh, have tested positive and she's been vaccinated. How can we expect, Ellie, to, that this particular case will affect vaccinations in schools? Yeah, so we're uh, here right outside uh, the uh, private uh, residence that is also being used as the official residence uh, for the time being of uh, Prime Minister Naftali Bennett. What happened earlier in the day during the cabinet, uh, the weekly cabinet session up north in the Golan Heights was that first uh, Prime Minister, uh, Prime Minister's office uh, employee was detected positive uh, for uh, COVID due to those uh, antigen uh, tests at the beginning of the session. So it takes us uh, back uh, to the point of how crucial those tests are. Just think if uh, this employee would indeed enter uh, this uh, room full of Israeli minister and other high profile uh, uh, officials. So that was the first occurrence of the day. And then uh, Prime Minister Naftali Bennett received a note uh, telling him his daughter is uh, was uh, and, uh, detected a positive rather for uh, COVID. He went into quarantine, even though he's not obligated to, according to the uh, regulations. Obviously, it will end only pending a negative uh, a negative uh, test, but it does. Uh, take us, takes us uh, to uh, another uh, major issue now, the infection uh, rate among uh, young uh, children. We're seeing a very sharp rise, a uh, 46% rise in the past uh, 10 days alone, again, among children. But we're not seeing a surge in uh, vaccination uh, for this uh, age group, uh, meaning that, uh, again, the uh, infection uh, rate among this uh, uh, part of the population is only expected to increase. And in this respect, the education system is once again taking up center stages uh, schools or other students in uh, cities or neighborhoods classified designated rather as either orange or red are being sent back into homeschooling those infamous uh, zoom classes we all remember from the first waves of the uh, pandemic but their um, critics are saying uh, it makes little sense if at all because okay you're sending them back home but what happens in the afternoon they all meet uh, without any restrictions or regulations so talking about uh, an affecting mechanism this is not it um so uh, yeah the the age group uh, will continue i assume uh, to uh, be in the spotlight in the coming days as it is expected uh, to um um to only increase rather the infection rate among this uh, age group and obviously have an influence on the greater population definitely and and the minister of tourism today asked uh, bennett to open when airport in two weeks time how what are the prospects uh, for that how's it how's it looking Right, and this is another uh, issue of uh, a whole lot of uh, debate uh, surrounding it. Uh, the uh, health experts rather are saying travel bans are efficient, even though we can de debate that as well, but they're efficient only when you're seeking to prevent um, the entry of a variant, in our case, the Omicron variant. So it was relevant, if at all, a few weeks ago. But now, when the once the variant is very much present throughout the country, travel bans 
are again just not making sense. There, are, there's no need to them. Uh, so this is the uh, position of uh, health experts. Whether the coronavirus uh, cabinet will indeed decide uh, to um, um, to move along uh, with uh, those uh, recommendations or not, we do not uh, know. But uh, obviously, Ariel, in the uh, next two days, we are likely to see some uh, crucial decisions on behalf of uh, Israeli officials on uh, what will be the next steps in uh, halting or at least trying to curb the spread of the pandemic here as we are very much um, amidst this fifth wave. Ellie, thank you very much.